What's up guys, Tim here again with some more Minecraft. Um, between episodes, I went and did some more stuff with the nukes and had to build another one and then I launched it and, well, I didn't actually want to launch it but the lever was still in the on position and it launched itself and made a little bit of a mess. Uh, we might need to decontaminate a bit of the ocean, it looks like. Because, uh, if you could see all this red, orangey stuff, that's all, like, radioactive and dangerous and stuff, and I don't know how to fix it. But, um, yeah. So, nukes are dangerous, and I'm sorry I didn't manage to let you guys see the first happening of the nuke, but... I want to build a third nuke, so we're going to find another one of those floating castles. There should be one around here. I'm absolutely positive because these things are like everywhere. And once we find one, I will set it off again. But yeah, that is the kind of devastation a nuke will, will in so, in so, in so, if whatever. That's, that's what happens when you nukes. Oh, wow. We need to go through that thing. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Oh my god. Okay, so this is on the agenda. This is very much on the agenda. Oh my god, there's a... Oh no, it's destroying it! No! No! I mean, I must stop it! I must, I must stop this thing from destroying this awesome building. Ah, come on, come at me! Uh, your your fire is nothing compared to me. Uh, c c come on, get closer. Get, come on. Get, get close enough that I can hurt you. Get, get close enough that I can hurt you. Come on, stop running away, you bitch. I want it. I want. I just want to kill you. Okay. All right. I'm doing damage. Doing damage. Doing good damage. I. Okay. It's another dragon. Why is there another dragon in the overworld? I don't understand. And it's going down. Yes, what a drop. I didn't get what it dropped. Uh, I'm going to assume it's down here already. Yeah, is it floating? Yes. Okay, cool. So it dropped a bunch of gas tears, it looks like. Is that it? Um, hmm. Wait, why can't I... Why can't I pick you up? Yeah, it's just gas tears. Oh, well. At least we stopped it from killing this pretty cool looking building over here that I've never actually seen before that we are now going to bookmark. So waypoints at cool building thing. And we're gonna we're gonna go through and do that after we nuke one of the castles. I'd like to get one closer than that one to our base so we can actually see it happen, but <clears throat> Not entirely sure. Sorry, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. Had to cough a little bit. Um, yeah, feel much better now though. So we shouldn't have to stop recording anytime soon again. Yeah, should be good for now. All right. So I wish that one hadn't been destroyed, or at least that I had been able to catch it getting destroyed. So I guess we might actually have to go with the further away one for now unfortunately, but yeah, you can just see the kind of devastation we're going to ensue upon whatever we nuke next. It's going to be, it's going to be just fantastic. Um, I wonder if you could, like, remotely set off the thing, because I do really want to see it happen. All right, anyway, that's going to be our coordinates, and then it's going to be about 500 away. We should be able to get there with this nuke, but again, I want to see if I can just set up a remote trigger. I might also want to sleep so that it's light out. Oh, I built some antidotes as well because radiation sickness is annoying and antidotes are cheap. So yeah, all it took was, uh, I think, nine seeds per antidote. So we wasted a lot of seeds, but better than nothing. Better, better to have a way to do it then did not have a way to do it, so now we got a way to do it. Yeah. Alright. Then, let's see. 
Is there something red stone? Maybe, maybe like a redstone signal, like launcher thing. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna assume not, but ooh, fancy redstone. Um, hmm. Huh. Do 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 do. Let's look. Let's look around. Uh, remote. Oh, remote detonator. Interesting, that might be what we need to do. Materials 1 remote detonator, of course. Uh, yeah. And remote controller. So, let's see. This looks like the right thing. So, let's go make this. And see if it works. Come on, let me, let me, let me go down. Let me, let me go down. Let me go down. <laughs> I want to go downstairs so I can make a remote detonator and do sorts of things that are awesome. Uh, remote detonator. Alright, so first we need the advanced circuit, which we're going to need to make a couple control circuits for. One, two, advanced, and remote. And we don't have that, so we need to make a button. We don't have stone. Oh my god. Okay, well, screw it. We'll just make a bunch of cobble. Not a big deal. And grab some stone. Good enough. So, stone turns into button. Put it back. Remote. Remote detonator. Make it. Alright. And then I'm going to be absolutely sure these are from the same mob using an extra utilities thing called the checker the pig it, there's um donation yeah that's the one donation station and of course we don't have anything to make it so whatever uh what the donation station would have done is basically you put an item from a mod into it and it tells you what mod that it's part of and yeah the remote detonators are part of this thing so, cool. Or I could use a laser designator. I wonder if that would work. Hmm. Well, let's try the remote detonator first. So let's charge it up really quick. Won't usually take too long. It doesn't seem to be taking long now. There we go. So... Let's see. We've got the coordinates that we want. Now we just need to right click this and then right click this maybe maybe So is it linked now? I'm not 100% sure, but let's go and test this. I want to be over near the second site before I actually press the button because it could be very well linked could easily be linked and I don't want to screw things up. Pretty sure I'm not too far away with this castle that was over in this direction. So let's press the button and the button's the button's been pressed. I think. Um hmm. Alright, laser designator it is. Or maybe maybe I've got to go and right click the actual thing with it. That could make sense too. So let's try that out real quick. God, this this would be so much easier if it was the closer one because then we'd just be able to go. But okay. Oop. All right. Come on. Come on in and. Doop. And okay, so right click, right click, all right. And then we press the button. No, okay. So we do need the laser designator. I think that will be pretty easy to make. I hope. I'm the remote detonator is probably just to like drop an explosive down and then do it with just the explosive instead of using a missile. But whatever. 
laser. Laser, laser turret, laser designator. It's gonna require it's gonna require the remote detonator. Cool, we've got that. It's also gonna require a radar gun. We got that. And that god damn it! I hate when he does that! Oh why does it do that? I don't I don't understand. Okay. So oh right. Of course I need to make some advanced circuits, which mean one, two, three, four control circuits. Lead circuit, two advanced circuits, one, two, and delete. Boom. Okay, so now we can make the laser desig. Why? Uh, what was it? What was the other part? What was the other part? God dang it. Uh, radar gun. Radar gun. Radar. Okay, you need to be fully charged. Right? Let's. Hope that you actually work now, and it still stops at that, so let's just empty it, because I think that'll work too. As long as it's completely tr <sighs> Okay. So, you're bugged. Which means we have a now useless radar gun. So we'll just make a second radar gun. That's probably going to be our best solution. Uh, okay, so we need to make the basics, not a basic circuit, a control circuit. And we need to make another button, the button, and new radar gun. Cool. So now we can make our laser designator. Laser. Laser designator. Make... Oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. Does it have to be charged? Oh my god, okay. Uh, radar. Right. Why isn't this, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? I don't, I don't know why this is, why isn't this working for me? I, I wouldn't, I don't understand. I just, I don't understand. Maybe you click it like that, okay. Um, well, give me a minute to figure this out. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. So, oh, it can also. What? What's a radar station do? Um. Uh, whatever. That's probably to detect incoming missiles. Let me see if. No. Damn it. Remote. Uh. Let's see if. Draining this of power will let me do it. That, that could. That could be it. I hope that's it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't charge. Drain. Drain, and then I have to actually drag you, which is a little tedious, not gonna lie, but... And no. Okay. So, maybe I have to charge both. So they are both the right thing. It's just weird. Okay, so let's charge you from zero. Hope you're not still bugged. I thought I had taken care of that. No, you're still bugged. Okay. Um. All right. Well, give me a minute or two, and I'll have this all sorted out. I'll start recording again once we do. All right, guys, I'm back. I did a little quick fix of a configuration file, and that seems to have worked because we now have our laser designator. Which I'm now going to charge up so we could use it to do awesome things that will be awesome as they are awesome. And it's still not charging up all the way. I don't understand that, but oh well. Let's let's go to sleep first and then we can do stuff in the morning. Whee! Give me a sec to figure something out real quick though. Okay. Alright. Um yeah. So, it is It is time. It is, it's time. So we probably have to link this up. Yep. Go, wait, what? Oh, frequency must be greater than zero. So frequency one. And then this must have a frequency as well. Link it. Cool. Laser designator frequency set to one. Awesome. And let's go over and see how this works. I read up a little on the wiki, and hopefully it works the way it worked there still. Uh, what this will do is I'll right-click, right click, and then there will be a laser 
showing in and the missiles apparently have a 99,000 block range. So, yeah, should be pretty cool. Let's let's do this. Boop. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, airstrike in 3, 2, 1. Where's it coming from? Got to do sound effects until it's here. I should probably back up. Wow, it's actually taking a lot longer than time. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, that's so cool! I hope it doesn't hit a cloud. That would that would really kill my mood. That after, after what happened last, that would just be the absolute worst thing in the world, as if clouds could stop it. Oh my god, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my god, and it's gonna hit. Yeah. Oh man. Oh look how dis look how devastated this castle is. I feel so good about this. I feel good about my decisions and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I feel I feel really good about doing this to these castles. Um there's just about nothing that could give me the amount of satisfaction that blowing up these castles does. Um I still would like to find out what this stuff is like this this water style stuff I don't have any buckets on me unfortunately but I'll find that out sometime so yeah I'm I'm happy I'm very happy with with my life choices right now yes all right anyway now that the excitement's over let's finish doing the stuff well actually we can't do the stuff for medium stone yet or not minium stone. Oh, I wish it was minium stone. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, mi the minium stone was a is actually a stone from Equivalent Exchange. And what that mod is is a mod that lets you turn things into other things. And back in Equivalent Exchange 2, there was an awesome item called the Condenser in which you could put basically whatever item you want and it had a certain amount of value. Um and all items had this value of different sorts. Ooh, diamond. And what you could do with this stuff is you could set the condenser to make as much of the thing that is that it's set to make per value. So let's okay, let's let's put this into a mathematical function, I guess because that's the only real way to describe it. So you take the item value of what you want to make, divide it by the amount of value inside the object from items that it's destroying, and it'll make that many objects. So it, say you had something worth five points, and you had ten items worth one points inside the machine, it would destroy those ten items and make two of the thing that's worth five points. So in the end, you'd have three of the things that's worth five points. Because math. God, I'm, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Goodbye, Jaded Ladder. Sorry, but it, your time has come, and yeah. So do we have any, just any regular, uh, not trapped or ladder? Yeah, let's just get a ladder. I know the trap, the, the Jaded Ladder's nice and all, but, oh my god, was that a pain. So now this should be just as much of a pain. Great. Great. I, f I love feeling accomplished, and that's how you do it. Anyway, let's make, let's make some ender pouches. Let's, let's make our ender chest. Uh, right, we have to make an actual chest first. So, yeah. Chest. Alright, chest. Chest. Put in the chest, put in the second chest, because I imagine the ender pouch is going to need some too. Ender chest, there we go. Ender chest, make the ender chest. Oh my god. Okay, make the ender chest. Um, okay. So, ender pouch, ender pole, ender post? Wow, okay. Uh, so, ender pouch, that should be. 
Okay, so we gotta actually turn the blaze rod into a blaze C blaze S. Ah! Ah! Words not working! Let's do this. Twice. There. There. There we go. There we go. Pouch is done. Cool. So, what we're gonna do now is put the chest right here. Uh, let's actually color code it a little bit. Um, die. Yeah, we'll just. Oh, wait, we've got a lot of die seeds. Okay, so let's take 17 of that, and what color do we want? Eh, let's, just go, let's just go with a cyan. Okay, so this is part of why I like magic seeds so much. You can just do some awesome stuff, like we've now got six cyan die because we have cyan essence. So let's see, can we actually dye it? Yes, cool. And then how... Oh, God, how do I dye? How do I dye the pouch? Um, I should have looked into that first, shouldn't I? Uh, maybe, maybe I right click. Maybe I shift right click. Yeah, okay, cool. So now our stuff will go from in here into here, and it'll be great. The next step is to grab a wooden transport pipe and grab an in. Okay, so we need to make some redstone engines. So, yep, that. And I need to make gears. So, make, yeah, let's say, two and two, three, four. This will let us make two redstone engines. Doop. And there we go. So now we need to make a couple of redstone torches, I guess. Do we have the stuff for it? Cool. One, two redstone torches. And then we'll set... Oh, God. I forgot to do it in the right order. Ugh. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm, I'm derping so hard today. Uh, switch that. And redstone engine. Redstone engine. Then... Torch and torch. Cool. So now what's gonna happen is this redstone this ender chest is gonna be constantly pumping stuff out of itself. So if we throw in, say, obsidian essence, we can come over here and it'll start not doing things right because I put it in the wrong spot, didn't I? What is going on? Why aren't why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? You're connected. You're connected in both positions. So I don't understand why you're not working. Hmm. Maybe I should use the mechanism version. Yeah, it's probably a better idea. So give me a, just a tick. Ugh. Dang it. Let me grab some stone out. Stone! Uh, right, stone. Gotta fix the wall real quick. Yep, there we go. Oh no, damn it! Okay, so now we need to make what's called a logistical transport or sorter. Pretty easy to make. No, not the basic circuit. I need the control circuit. Thank you, please. And there we go. So, there. So what the logistical sorter does is basically the same thing, except it's the mechanism, or no, the applied energistics. Yes, yeah, the applied energistics version, and it can't connect. Can it? Yeah. Okay, so. It's, um. Hmm. What is going on? Why are you being so screwy? Maybe if I broke the ender chest first, then broke this, then ah screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the ender chest right here, put this right here. There we go. So now it's absolutely definitely connected. And then grab some what is it? What is it? Mechanical pie? No. Um dang it. Logistical pipe. Logistic Logistical transporter. Make. Darn it. 
No good. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm screwing up so much. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, if this episode ever sees the light of day, I'm ruined. Ruined, I tell you, and I need to make some more steel. So, let me take some iron. And some coal. Compressed carbon, I meant. And then we can throw in the compressed carbon. And make some enriched iron. And then make the enriched iron into steel dust. And then we'll just throw the iron ingot back in there. Smelt the steel dust into steel bars. And that'll give us enough of the transporter stuff for me to use, I guess. So, yeah. Logistic. Oh, actually, I have some. Okay, well, not... I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not... I'm not getting mad. I'm not... I'm also gonna have to move this. So, let's do that real quick as well. Not gonna get mad. Not... not gonna... not gonna get mad. Screw... Just, I've just... I've just been screwing up the whole time. I'm, it's nothing to get... nothing to get angry about. And... did I screw up again? No. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And... do do. There we go. So, now if we put some stuff in. So let's go with the stone. Oh, I gotta put on auto eject. And it's not working. Why? Why wouldn't... Why would it... Maybe it just doesn't work with ender chests. So, okay. Well, that's fine. We can use a chest as a go-between. Okay, so we're out of stone, so I'll just use a quick fix. Actually, there's stone right in here. Oh no! Oh my god! There's stone in there's stone in my pouch. Christ. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get this done. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna have to use a chest as a go-between. So good thing we made this. So we'll throw the chest right here. The ender chest will go right here. We'll use the wooden transport pipe to connect to the regular chest. And then we'll set up the redstone engines here and here. We will put a redstone torch... Ah, stop it right here and then now it should work right okay so now let's let's throw some stone into there the stone starts coming out goes into the chest and logistic still starts logistic sorter oh come on uh does maybe I Maybe it needs redstone. Dang it. Okay, well... Darn. I'll get this figured out at some point. Probably between the episodes. I'll look up a tutorial or something and then get it all set up and ready to go. But this should be working. I Honestly, I don't know why it won't just input straight into the ME drives. We have enough. We have plenty of space. But maybe it's just incompatible for whatever reason. I but on the other hand, I know that mechanism is compatible with this stuff. So oh well. I'm gonna do that between episodes. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.